Hi, I'm Taylor House. This is Danny Shirey. We are coming to you uh, from day two of Penguins Rookie Camp. Uh, this is where we're seeing a lot of the players who played in Wilkes-Barre last year, who are going to be in Wilkes-Barre next year making their, their debuts. And uh, Danny, just through these first two days, we've been some of the standouts to you. Uh, well, you don't want to read into any lines or, or combinations from a, a camp like this, but it has been noteworthy that the line of Philip Hollander, Sam Poulin, and Valtteri Pustinen have really stood out amongst the crowd and especially amongst these prospects that are here at camp. Uh, today on day two, uh, the, the coaches had them working through several five-on-five -five drills, and it, it was pretty clear that those three not only work really well together, but on top of that, the, their skill level, their compete, the energy, the way they can play off of checks, and everything like that really show that those guys are, are the most polished of the group and are probably the closest of the players that are here toward making the NHL. Yeah, some of the some of the standouts to me other than the, the ones you mentioned, Corey Ananofsky has been a big one in, in these drills that we've seen so far. I think this camp in general has had a lot of physicality as I mean for a rookie camp of all yeah, things. Yeah, <laughs> much more than I think either of us expected. Absolutely. And and Corey Ananofsky, he's been a big part of that. He's someone they saw you know, the Penguins made a concerted effort, I think, to bolster the prospect pool over the last year with um, the undrafted college free agent market or unsigned college free agents and Corey Ananofsky was one of the first ones they signed out of Princeton. He's big, uh, very physical, and, and some of the hardest hits we're seeing in these drills are, are coming from Corey Ananofsky. Also notably, um, a good friend of Kenny Pickett. <laughs> I know he already, he told me he already has um, a room ready at, at Pickett's apartment for if and what, you know, if he gets a, he gets a call up. I think he'll, he's going to start in this very, but uh, if he does get a shot up there, you know, he'll be safe with uh, Kenny Pickett. Uh, another, you know, pleasant surprise has been Philip Lindbergh, just, just that he's healthy. Yeah, just the fact that he's out on the ice has, has been great. Yeah, because, you know, he said he was a development camp, um, limited capacity. Dealing with the ankle injury, uh, he had November. I wrote about it on the site if you want to learn more about the full rehab process. So it's kind of a bumpy road. They they didn't know if they were going to do like the rehab route or the surgery route. He ended up, you know, kind of waiting. He had the surgery in February. So it's been a little bit of a long uh, road. But uh, JD Forrest told us he's full go. He's 100%. Uh, Philip Lindbergh told me his ankle is working the way it should now. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing if he'll play in this in this prospect scrimmage in, in Buffalo. Um, Kevin Porter, Wells Fargo assistant coach, just told us he didn't think that's, that's above him. <laughs> he doesn't know who's going to be in that because um, they do have him, Taylor Gauthier, another one of the um, prospects they signed, and then uh, Tommy Navy or Wells Fargo's goalie. So I'm, I'll be interested to see who he's in that. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these guys just get into some game action yeah. because, you know, at the end of the day, a, a guy can look great in a drill or, you know, he might have a certain skill that, that might pander to a certain drill. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, these guys, they might be able to show different things that we aren't able to see here in the, in the environment and setting that we've seen them. So when we're, we're getting all these questions about, you know, who might surprise, who might stand out, I think that's a question that we really wouldn't be able to answer until after we see them in a game scenario. And I think it's going to be really good to see how some of them react and respond to a different environment. Yeah. Danny and I will both be in Buffalo uh, for the prospect scrimmage. Uh, the Penguins are only going to be playing one game in this tournament. It's going to be against the Bruins prospects Saturday at 3.30. Uh, so we'll stay tuned for all of our coverage on DK Pittsburgh Sports.